Whatever you make to lift your mood, it's alright, show you what you can do. Drive your hook and needles too, today we're making merry. Hello all my merry makers, I am Becca and welcome to another Merry Making Monday. To everybody who's coming back, thanks for coming back. To anybody who is new here, I want to welcome you. Merry Making Mondays are all about tutorials. Me teaching you how to make something, usually knit or crochet related, hence the hook and needle in the jingle. And this week, we are going to be continuing in the long crochet along that we have started of the Oolong Tea Shawl, which is a design by the designer uh, Red P Teapot Atelier. I do have permission from the designer to do this tutorial, so let's get to it. This week we are doing rows 46, 47, and 48. Grab your hook and your project and let's get started. Where did my hook go? I just had it. Oh, there it is. It was hiding underneath my bag. All right, so row 46, if you read, it says the same as the 26th row, which starts off with a chain four. And into that first stitch, we're doing two regular double crochets. And there's one. Okay, what am I caught on? My love for you. <laughs> there's two. All right, then we are going to do a back post double crochet around every stitch. So just as a reminder, you take your yarn around the hook like you would for a double crochet, come from the back of your work, wrap it around the post, grab the yarn, now you have three, and you finish it like a regular double crochet. You're going to do that all the way down to the chain two space for the middle. I will meet you there. So here we are at the middle chain two, two space. We've been doing back post double crochets. Um, and then the middle chain two space. We're doing two regular double crochets. One, two, chain two, one, two, and two more double crochets. One, two. I'm going to go ahead and put a stitch marker in my work because the halfway point is the best place to stop and check to make sure you've gotten all the stitches you need. Uh, according to the pattern for this row, you're going to have four double crochets on each side and then 181 back post double crochets. Again, don't be afraid to take your time when you count. Don't be afraid to use stitch markers as you count. Once you've verified you have the correct amount of back post double crochets on this side, go ahead and start doing a back post double crochet around each one of your uh, stitches on this side until the second to the last stitch. I will meet you there.
Okay, so we've come to the end of row 46. Uh, I put my back uh, post double crochet around the second to last stitch. And now into the last stitch, we are doing two double crochets, if I can find the top of my There we go. First stitch is always the hardest. So one, two double crochets, and then one triple crochet. All right, and just as a reminder, you are supposed to have 181 back post double crochets. If you want to count the regular double crochets, you should have four of them. Two here, two in the double chain two space. I'm going to count real quick myself, and then we'll move on to row 47. So the first part of row 47, you chain four. One, two, three, four. Then you chain two more. Then it says you do not skip any stitches, which is a little bit confusing. So I consulted the chart and basically instead of so you're not skipping any stitches, but you are, in my opinion. And here's what I mean. The, the next stitch does not go into this first stitch here, but actually this second stitch. And the next stitch starts the repeat with a double crochet. Alright. Then... You chain two, and you skip two stitches, and that is literally the end of the repeat. <laughs> Just remember that you started with a double crochet. So this is a, a very open stitch that we're doing. All right. And then you're going to repeat that until the second of to the last stitch before the chain two space. I will meet you there. So here we are in the second to the last stitch before the chain two middle. Ch space and for row 47 into the middle we do one double crochet chain two and one more double crochet so it's almost like you're continuing hold on Backing this up a little bit because I just realized something. After you do the double crochet, you're supposed to chain two. So I think, there you go. It is a continuation almost of what we've been doing before. The only difference is instead of skipping two stitches here, you're only skipping one because you can't skip two stitches. Alright, now we are supposed to have 63 double crochets. And then it says 126 chains, not including the chain two in the middle. If you want extra credit and count each chain, you can. I'm just going to count the double crochets. 
as soon as I verify I have the correct amount, we'll tackle the other side. Now that we've done the middle, it says chain two and only skip one stitch. And then it starts the repeat of one double crochet, chain two, skip two stitches, and that's where the repeat ends so that you can do another double crochet. And it says to repeat that until the second to last stitch. I will meet you there. Right. So here we are in the second to last stitch. I've chained two. We're not going to skip any stitches because we're going into the last stitch. And then into the last stitch, we're doing a triple crochet. Now the first time I did this, I did not end up in that second stitch because I had put only one stitch in between each double crochet. So if that happens to you, uh, go back, check your work, make sure you've got you know, two stitches in between each double crochet. And just as a reminder, you're supposed to have 63 double crochets on each side. And again, if you want to count the chain spaces, it is 126 chain spaces. I'm going to count mine real quick, and then we'll move on to the last row of this week, which is row 48. I forgot to mention that row 47 is the last, um, if you're doing the reduced version, it's the last uh, row before so okay I'm gonna read it word for word here so I don't mess it up so reduced version if you are crocheting the reduced version of the pattern, you are jumping here after doing an all double crochet row as your 47th row. In this case, the stitch count does not match, but the stitches should be proportional. There we go. I wanted to make sure I read that part because it technically is part of the pattern. But we are not doing the reduced version, we're doing the extended version, or the regular version, whichever way you want to do it. Alright, so we start with a chain four. One, two, three, four. And then we do one double crochet into the first stitch. Then we chain one and the repeat starts <clears throat> into the next chain two space. Um, it says um, to double crochet three together. So, start a double crochet, that's one, start a double crochet, that's two, double, start a double crochet, that's three, should have four loops, draw them all together, chain one, 
chain one and then into that same space we do the same thing. Double crochet three together. Loop over, draw up, draw through two, that's two. That's three. I should have four loops. Draw through all four. And then we do three double crochet into the next chain two space. So you notice I'm not going into the tops of the chains because it, we're going into the chain space. That's two. three. All right. And then we're supposed to repeat that until the second to the last chain two space before the chain two space that is the middle. I will meet you there. So here we are in the uh, second to the last chain space before the chain space that is the middle. And we've ended with the three regular double crochets. Now we do the th three double crochet two together. So that's one, that's two, that's three. Hello. Four loops on my hook. You drag it all the way through. Chain one. Do another double three two crochet together. One. Two. Three. Drag it all the way through. All right. Then into the middle chain two space, we're doing two regular double crochets. So that's one, two, chain two, and then two regular double crochets. So when you count, make sure you count this group as one double three crochet two together. You should have 64 of those and 96 regular double crochets. As soon as I verify that myself, we're going to tackle the second part of row 48. So now that we've done the middle, we start with the repeat of double three crochet together. We'll call it double three change. One, two, three. I should have four loops on my hook. Pull it all the way through. Chain one. Another double three crochet together in that same space. One, two, three, pull. And then into the next chain two space, three regular double crochets. One, two, and three. And then it says to repeat that until the second to the last chain space again. So I'm going to show you one more time. 
double three crochet two double three two, why can't I say that together? Double crochet three together. One two three. Sometimes words are harder than crochet. Don't forget to chain one in, in between. Another double crochet three together. One, two, three. And then three regular crochets. Uh, three regular double crochets, I mean. One. two, and three. All right, I'll see you at the second to last chain two space before the end. So here we are in the second to the last space for the end, and into the last chain two space, we're going to double three crochet shell again. So one, two, three, hello, drop stitch. Let's try that again. Three, I have four loops, draw through it all, chain one, and then double three crochet, double crochet three together again. So one, two, three, I have four loops, draw through all. Then we chain one more time and then into this triple crochet, which doesn't look like a cri triple crochet because it was a chain four. So one, two, three, four. Make sure you're going into the right spot. We're going to do one double crochet and one triple crochet. is the end. Uh, remember you need 64 double crochet three together and 96 regular double crochets. Once you've counted that, you are done for this week. All right, my merry makers, that's it for this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a like. Feel free to comment down below. If you're not subscribed yet, please consider subscribing. Um, if you really like my videos, share my channel with your friends. And in the meantime, make what makes you merry. Ciao.